Welcome back to White Knight. In the last episode, I saw some images showing me where I need to go next. And that is all the way down two floors. Right to that locked door. So the run there is going to be pretty damn dangerous. Because there's a lot of shadows along the way. But, uh, gotta do it. So I want to stock up on matches. I want to get completely topped off on matches before I actually go... I think there's some more in this room somewhere. Let's try to find them. I remember there were some matches there. I've already picked them up, obviously. Spirit under the bed. Let's not go that way. You know, I think I'll find some matches somewhere else. Let me just try to actually get out of this place first. I really don't like this room. This isn't the right room either. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Okay, yeah, so this will allow me to go downstairs. Are there any matches? Yes, right here. Okay, 11 out of uh, 12. Should be fine. Selena led me here for a reason. I had to find out why. Yes, the reason is to go downstairs. What? Did I not just see the images that said go downstairs? Um. I'm confused. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, let me see if I can go downstairs now. What? I don't understand. I, I just went back to the room with the projector, looked at the images again. In fact, it even says here in my kind of my diary, it says, The picture of that victim's agony were recorded in a room I had yet to visit. It looked like a cellar. I remember that door from the ground floor. Yeah, I remember that door from the ground floor. So I'm trying to go downstairs to the ground floor. And it says Selena led me here for a reason. I had to find out why. God, I really hope I didn't bug out the game, because if I did, I mean, this game only has one save, so I would be completely screwed. It says I need to go to the ground floor, but the text that's popping up when I try to go down is suggesting that I haven't found what I need to find here. But I think I have, because it says I need to go to the ground floor. Hmm. Oh, here we go. So right here, this is all the way in the corner. If I go back to the map. Yeah, so if you look at the very left side of the map, I'm at the very left bottom of the big room on the map. And the boarded over door that I'm looking at is that little room at the very, very bottom left. Right next to the, yeah, where her spirit's hanging from the meat hook. There's actually a light switch here. All right, there we go. Thank God. That's got to help things. Seeing the rope, I choked. Death is contagious. Oh, it is a rope. At first I assumed she had hung herself, but then because I've seen meat hooks before and I've never seen a rope before, I just assumed it was a meat hook. Alright, I hear the projector going, too. Um, This doesn't actually help me get inside of here, though. I mean, this is definitely doing something that I didn't do before, but I don't say this actually helps. Have I read this? Uh, yeah, I did. His skin was like stone, gray and rough. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I had a tool, like a crowbar or something, I could maybe pry these off with the light. But I don't see any such tool. There's something around here I can pick up that I couldn't before when her spirit was in the way. Stop going out, you damn match. Alright, this one I probably have not read. Actually, no, I, I have read this. Mm-hmm. Just talking about the appointment with the deputy and banker that I ruined. Or, that I ruined. That, uh, Margaret ruined.
I still don't get why I'd have to do anything here, given that it says I need to go downstairs. I don't know, I'm still missing something. I'm pretty sure I need to go in that room, but I don't know how. Alright, well, let me do some more looking around, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I ended up having to look up a video walkthrough to figure out what to do. Um, I guess I'm supposed to find that there's floorboards here? The X of the shadows marks the spot, I guess? The only thing is, I don't think I can actually get inside. When the wooden floor is too noisy, it always has something to hide. I needed my two hands for these blocked planks. Well, maybe I can. The only thing is, I don't think I'm going to be able to see it when I put out my match. Oh, no, I can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I needed the cellar key. I'm not sure why I'm exactly expected to search there, just because there's kind of an X made by the shadows, I guess? Uh, yeah. I don't really know. That was pretty annoying. Seeing Selina flee strengthened my belief something darker was closing in. A wolf hidden amongst men. It felt like finding a lost love, but being on the brink of losing it again. I had to be quick. Selena fled men, just like William, the so-called Black Lake Wolf, had fled his mother. The real wolf was in the blood. It was the night of the world. Oh no, I think I cut him off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Had poisoned us all long ago. Shit, you know what? I should have saved it up there. If I die, I'm gonna be mighty annoyed. What the hell? I can't even answer the phone because I can't see. Did it just stop ringing? Of course it did. Let's be very careful here. Jesus Christ. I think there's a save point in here, right? Yeah, let's go save.
Oh, Jesus. No! The chair blocked me. I was trying to turn on the light. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, wait. This light switch just turns that light on? Now that I've turned that on, I feel like I've done that before. I, I guess it just shut off. I guess it must have just shut off. I totally forgot that was even a light switch. Huh. Okay, yeah, now it's coming back to me. Never mind. I guess this puzzle isn't so annoying. It's not even really a puzzle. Let's go downstairs. I could smell from here the scent of murder and madness which emanated from below. Selena's story was one of light, trying to survive in the night of a nation long corrupted by darkness. I have to admit it. I was afraid of what I would find at the end of that path. images just get creepier and creepier. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> and in case you're wondering, I, I did try to run away from her, but um, when you go into that mode, when you go into the mode where your character is freaking out because the ghost is near, it actually messes with your controls so that they're not as precise as they normally are. It kind of adds a bit of randomization. Hence why I kind of ran straight into her. There's a lot of spirits down here, which are like a light switch. Jesus Christ. I guess I should probably just follow her stains, but uh, let me see if I can get this thing working. Gotta turn it on first. Yep, yeah, that might help. Where is the cord? Where is the cord? I see it under the table, but I don't see where it goes. The save point? Need a light for that. De need to get the lamp working. Oh, there's a cord. Okay. And some more matches, thank god. Alright, I'm just gonna swing- whoa, okay. I'm gonna swing that lamp like 360 and just kill all of them. Hopefully. And you die, and you die. Ah, I can't go behind me. Damn it. Looks like I can turn a valve thing there to do something. So it leads to the door. I can move that there if I want to save. I guess the other spirit wandered over. Let's go ahead and save.
Victim's Note Number 8 My Darling, This night I spent with you was wonderful, and I want to have more of it. Don't worry about people or what they say. They just don't understand. I do. I understand your concern. I went down that road. To find the light, you have to step out of the shadows. I did it five years ago. You don't have to go yell it in the street. Just be honest with yourself. Let me guide you towards this freedom. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I want to mix my lips with yours, my hair with your hair, bent on you, losing myself in your eyes, your hands on my hips. Let's see each other tonight. I'll come and get you. Wait, I'm confused. I... This is a note written by one of the victims that William murdered, right? You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. This is from the victim, Judith Phillips, talking about a woman? Not William. What woman? I mean, I thought this note was referring to William. But it's talking about a woman. Well, William's not a woman. Uh, is it Selena? I, hmm. I'm a little bit confused now. Or is this just like a totally random note that has no connection to the story other than the fact that it came from one of the victims? I'm not sure. Am I actually doing anything? Can only turn in one direction. Uh, okay. I guess I should probably check out the next room and find out what this thing is actually connected to. Might be helpful. And the door is thankfully unlocked. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Because of the dampness, the Vesper cloth was covered with mold. Oh, yeah, that's from before. It's just uh, back again because I loaded the save. Okay, well, that's it. Alright, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I feel like this game is getting more and more annoying as I go. Because they're throwing more of the shadows at me, and I keep dying quite a bit, and then the time, you know, the time between the save points becomes more laborious to make back your progress and stuff like that. And the last one that happened with having to go outside of the game and look up a video walkthrough just to find out that I need to look at some freaking floorboards that really annoyed me. So I'm going to end this episode here because I can feel that I'm not in a great mood. I'm not in terribly receptive to the stuff that I might pick up and read and just the game overall. So I think I should stop and come back fresh and hope that it doesn't continue to be more annoying. I'm hoping. I don't know. It's doing the, you know, it's doing the typical game thing where the further and further you get into the game, the harder it gets. Which unfortunately is revealing the cracks in the game's design. Things like... The fact that the movement is a bit imprecise, and I don't mean just how it's randomized when you get near an enemy, but how it's slow to turn around, and how the enemies can kind of just end up randomly in a very bad spot that makes it extremely hard to get away from them. Like, sometimes you just get good RNG and they're in the right spot, you can just run by them, sometimes you don't, and you kind of have to just run into them and die, or run back, which kind of sucks. And uh, there's something else. Oh yes, and also the camera angles. 
The camera angles really add quite a bit of personality to the game, but they do unfortunately make it kind of just mechanically hard to really see everything the way you want to and to head in a consistent direction. But basically, they just make it kind of hard to navigate. Which, it does give it a, a certain mood. A certain mood and feeling that I like in general when just exploring. But when you have to run away from enemies, it's not so fun. It's just annoying. Because suddenly it's not... It's not that you're dying because you suck, and you did something stupid, you're dying because the camera angle just suddenly changed and now you have to move the stick in a different direction to move the way that you actually want, and then you hit a chair that you can barely see because the camera angle's crappy, and... yeah. So I, I think the fact that they're throwing so many, so many enemies at me is actually revealing the cracks of the game, which is very unfortunate. But we'll see what happens. I'm still interested in the story. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.